Hello, and here's lesson five in our series on learning the basics about QBasic. Um, well, we're going to learn today about the if and then conditional statement. So sometimes we want to execute one set of code, and sometimes, according to different conditions, we might, to, might want to do something different. Well, the if and the then is a way of actually doing that. So before we do that, we can see we've got a little program written down here. Um, and at the moment, it's just got one real line of code, input, type in your age. So I'm just going to press F5 and run this. And here we go. It says type in your age, and then it's got a question mark after it. Well, we don't actually want a question mark. If you think about it, that's not a question. It's just an instruction to type in your age. So I'm just going to close that down. And if we look carefully at this line of code here, it says type in your age, and I've left a space in there, and then it's got a semicolon. Well, if I change that semicolon uh, to a comma um, and type this thing in, um, and let's press F5 now, can we see the question mark has disappeared so it's just said type in your age and then it's left a space and so I can type in my age 7 and press enter and ooh, nothing very much happens there because there's no further code after this in the program. So let's um, just have a look and see what we can do next. And so what I've done is type in a piece of code if age, so if the contents of our number variable called age are greater than 25, if somebody typed their age in as being more than 25, then we want to print out the message insultingly, blimey, you're old. Um, so let's try running that now. So F5, in comes the message here. Type in your age, let's say 27, hit enter. It says, blimey, you're old. Excellent. OK, so that seems to be working. But what if they type in an age which isn't greater than 25? So let's run it again. Here we go, type in your age. Well, let's type in 25. That's not greater than 25, that's equal to 25. Well, we hit enter, enter and nothing happens. Well, let's have a look at our code. If age is greater than 25, then we're printing this. Well, we don't have any instructions if it's not greater than 25. So what we need to do is add a little comment here, E-L-S-E, -E, uh, and then we're going to print um, a, a slightly more friendly message, hello, youngster. So what we've added to our code here then, and if I just move the cursor off that line, you can see it changed to uppercase with no red, which tells me that the line's probably okay, no messages in the status bar down here. And so if the age is bigger than 25, then we're giving them an insulting your old message. Otherwise, we're printing out hello youngster. So let's press F5 to run the program, type in your age 25 again, so right on the boundary, and it says hello youngster. Um, what about if I type in something even even smaller than that? So let's uh, move this over here. Type in your age five. Hello, youngster. OK, that seems to be working fine. So what we've learned to do there then is, is execute a different set of code, either this or this, depending on the contents of this variable called age. So if their age is greater than 25, we do one thing. If it's less than 25, we do another. But this is a little bit limited because we've only been able to do one thing. We've been able to print one instruction. So what I'm going to show you now is a way of executing multiple lines of code depending on um, some sort of condition here. So I'm just going to type that in now. So here we are then. I've got if age is greater than 10, then I want to do all this lot. So what I've done here is I've separated out onto different lines, all the different things I want to do under different conditions. So if age is greater than 10, then I add a couple of lines here, print the age is over 10, and just say nice. Um, else if, so this else if statement here is, is saying, well, there's another set of conditions here. If the age is less than 5, then I want to do all this lot of code here. OK, so print out age is less than 5, and yep, you do. And then, so I can have as many of these else if statements as I like, so I can set up all these different conditions. And then at the end, to catch everything else, all the other conditions here, which is basically if the age is uh, not greater than 10 and not less than 5, then it must be in the range 5 to 10. Um, and we do this bunch of code here. So in, when it comes to testing this, life gets a little bit more complicated because we have to test lots and lots of different situations. So let's just press Run and try the first one. So let's try the age 5. Now what do we expect to happen here? Well the age is equal to 5 so it's not greater than 10, it's not less than 5 so we're expecting that to fall through into this little group of code here and print ages 5 to 10 la -dee da Okay that's good, that seems to have worked. And let's run it again. 
and here it is so let's go for six this time so we're well into that group we expect the same thing to happen yes it does happen um what if the age was over 10 so let's press f5 run the program um, let's say our age is 11 so we expect it to be picked up in here the age is over 10 nice and then it will jump past all this code because it's already done this it's not going to do this and this as well um, so let's have a look and see if that works age over 10 nice and then it jumps down to the bottom of the code without doing any of the other things and then finally um, what was the other one we haven't tested to, that the age is less than five so let's put in an age of four enter age less than five yet you do and again it skipped over that last bit here and run out the bottom of the program so that in a nutshell is the if then state we can use it on one line with just if and then so there's this kind of situation here if age is greater than 25 then we just do that one instruction we also saw that we can add um, an else instruction to that one line and we can print something else um, hello youngster um, so we've got combinations there if we've just got one thing that we want to do but if we want to do something a little bit more sophisticated in each case we have to separate them out to different lines and we have our if we have the else if we have the else if we want to use it but all of this when we've got the multiple line version we have to end this with the end if statement all at the end of that which links all that together you don't need the end if if you're just using a one-line statement up there.